Hey guys, you're watching because you want to only. My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a Cruise Ship. Today we're jumping around again. What's up with my hair today? Today we're jumping around again. We are in the uh, control room for the cruise ship. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun today. I'll show you why later on. But first things first is we have way too much room up here. Uh, it's, a, it's a room that's it's way too big for what's necessary. So the first thing that we want to do is reduce the space a little bit. Now we've got the elevator spots that we worked out ages ago. One thing that we haven't done is done the stair areas for everywhere. But they'll all fit in. I wouldn't. I'm not going to worry about that too much yet. But let's say the staircase are three blocks wide, which sounds to be about right. And let's do a staircase on either side of this elevator. Oops. On here. Okay, so we have a staircase down and a staircase down on either side. Two staircases, I think, is good enough. Then what we can do is then reduce the size of this room to a more acceptable, usable size. So let's sort of drag this back a little bit. And sort of round this off a little bit. Obviously, you want to come out to the window still, but we don't want it to be grossly large. So we'll have something like that. I think is a pretty good, good room. Let's take that one back and do that one there. Okay, so we've sort of cut out a my phone. We've sort of cut out a large area of room here and, uh, and reduced the space to a much more acceptable size. Uh, um, much easier to work with. You don't have to quite fill it up as much with random stuff that doesn't make any sense. So, just need to match up the other side here. 334. Uh, 334 three, 3342. Remember... <laughs> Remember that. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two. This is where we find out that the ship isn't centered or anything like that. I think it has been. I think we would have spotted it before. One, 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 two. It's four sets of one and then a two. One, 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 two. Whew. Okay, we're good. The ship is centered. So those walls will go all the way up to the top. And I think that's pretty cool. So we've got this sort of huge area up down here and up there. What I'd really like is two levels. A, con a main control at the bottom. And then some more computers and stuff like that at the top. So if I grab this block. And obviously we don't want to make it bigger than the wall. Um, I don't want it on that level or that level. I think I'll have it on this level on this floor and out here and I think we only really need it um, at maximum maximum five blocks in fact I think sort of whatever we're at here which is four no I'm gonna take that away I'm gonna have it along here so let's drag this all the way back because it gets wider as you get towards the middle anyway and it's just gonna be a second floor for controls but it's gonna be so cool later on though hold on until until later on in the episode it won't be too long before i show you but i found it quite funny okay put these down in here ah oh, you get the gist i should <laughs> i should do it off camera in a minute so uh, there's a lot of lot of filling in um what we want to do is have some computer terminals now we want to have a decent block like a great perfect like a nice plain gray block in the middle and what we want is a main sort of computer area. I think it's a little bit too far back. I think there's a better, a better number. And we want this middle centered, so we know that the elevator there is in the middle. So if we had that and that, that is dead in the middle of the room. And this is going to be where the captain stands most of the, spends most of his time. So we'll have something like that, and something like that. This is his his area of where he stands. So we're going to want to have, uh, I think, quartz stairs for the seats in here. Nice, clean, white look. You want a very sort of greys and whites in this sort of area. So we'll have a nice sort of seat there for the captain of the ship. And we're going to want to have some computer terminals. I'll tell you what, we'll use uh, custom player heads for that. I shall find those out when I cut away to do that top level as well. So yeah, that'll be some some uh, computer screens in there. There's some really good player heads that we can use for that. And then we're going to want to have some more uh, sort of, I don't know, they're not tables, they're just like control desks. And we want this one to sort of span 
pretty much the entire length but I want to have some breaks in them so let's have that one go to there and then have another one start back here and just sort of drop in there a little bit what's that three blocks yeah so this comes along here and then drops back there and then this one again so this is uh, starting on the fifth block in okay starting on the fifth block in make sure that we're in line fifth block in would be there that's in line and then <laughs> how did I do it fifth block in okay there's like one one block all the way around the edge along here why is there two blocks along this line that's in line I got a feeling that this windscreen isn't like in line with each other or something weird like that do 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 okay oh no it might be right it might just be me being it was me being derpy okay so we can have this run along the edge here and then I think it went out three blocks or four blocks that's four blocks in length I think that's right yeah beautiful so there'll be computer monitors all along those we then want some seats for the uh, other control people to sit in we'll have one there one there one there and one there and one there oh that that spaced out perfectly and then the same up this side oh that works out so well uh are we as lucky in the middle here if i do one here 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 there if i do one there i can then put one more block and then it works out really nicely that one and that one add an extra block i might put like a carpet like a black carpet along the top um to, to sort of change up some of the colors here i don't know okay what else we want uh we want to have some sort of computer monitors going along the front here now we can't really use player heads for that because i want them to be a little bit bigger so instead we're going to use um birch wood which is black wool to come along here that's the middle so we want one screen there these are meant to be like uh, large monitors we'll have one here and one here i think that's all we, we don't really need the mover there at all okay so we've got the three big monitors there um I think what we need to do is just hold on a minute, put the walls up, put that floor up, I'll get the custom player heads, and then I'll be back. I think that's sort of the next step we need to do and sort of finish off what we've got so far and then expand on. I should be back. Okay, much, much better. I can now sort of visualize with all the walls. I put in a couple of staircases as well to get up to this top floor. Um, just so much easier to visualize when you've got walls and a ceiling. I don't really know why, um, but it just is. It just, it just is. So, all I need to do really on the... I don't know if I want to have the grey on the inside. You know how I've got this grey at the top here? I don't know if I want it down there. I sort of like it, sort of how it is. I don't know. We'll have to see. I've missed a block here, though. Have I done the same on the other side? No, good. So that's all that's all good now. So lighting, that's the next important thing. Obviously, beacons again. We're gonna use the white beacons because they just look the best. And let's get some beacons down here. So we're gonna want to have lighting above the commander. For the for the first one. Um Is it called the commander? Cap captain, not commander, is it? Commander's more of a space sort of feel to me. Uh let's have it sort of like three blocks in length. And then we'll have one, two, three, four, five, three blocks, one, two, three, four, five, three lights, one, two, three, four, five, three lights. And then do the same going this way, one, two, three, four, five, one, ooh, two, three. Uh-oh, that one. I see another one that's sticking out as well, this end one here, there, ooh, get up there. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, right there. Stop clicking on the beacon. One, two, three, four, five, that one. Okay, so there's 
lighting for this bottom. It is still a little bit dark around the computers, but we should be able to light that up later on there. These are sort of more aesthetical lights, if anything. However, I have done, I have gone and done the uh, heads, the player heads. So I've got... Oh, by the way, this is using a command block. There's a website, Quality Heads or something like that, it's called. And um, it shows you what you can get from player heads. You just click on it. It'll give you a command. And then just copy and paste it into a command block. Hit the button. Or put a button on it. Hit the button. And it'll give you the head in your inventory. I think in your hotbar. So make sure you've got a space in your hotbar. Otherwise, it won't work. But I've got a pile of books for maps and stuff like that. We've got a computer. And I've got another computer that is sort of with a screen that's off. I like them both. I couldn't decide what I liked more, so I thought, why not have both? So, uh, we can have some of these about, I think. We can have computer and a monitor. Oops. Monitor. And then a couple of monitors sort of here, like that. A couple of monitors like this. Oh, that's so cool. Computer. And then uh, I want some bookshelves. Like that. That's so cool. I mean, how, how awesome do these little player heads look i don't know why i like them so much we'll put like some in front of here we should definitely have these on console though these would be so awesome to have you sort of want to face them mostly sort of straight towards the chair but it's nice to have like some of them on a little bit of a curve it's like they've they sort of turned the screen for whatever reason and then over here i'm just sort of alternating them randomly i'm not really doing one of one and then one of the other oops that's not it I don't want that one. Like that. That looks so cool. And then some books. Just just here and there. Not too many of these. In case they get lost. Maybe it's the manual to reset a part of the engine that they don't quite know. Yeah. Okay. So let's grab this block again. Uh, this one right here. That's a full version. We want to have this running down the back here because we want some sort of barrier to stop people from falling off this top layer. I think this top layer is going to be mostly a viewing point. I don't think there's going to be many, if any, computers up there. So I'd have these coming along the edge. And probably down the side of the staircase as well. Like that. And the same on this side. And on the other staircase. I'll do the other staircase later on, though. I don't want to keep repeating the same things. Grab some... I think some glass would be nice. Uh, white stained glass. Panes. Sort of more of a modern feel in this room than in the traditional bars and stuff that we've been doing recently. So we'll have glass going along here as a barrier. Like that. Over the middle. And over the edge. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, that's looking so cool. Uh, as far as carpets go or floor goes, I think we need something on the floor. I got itchy. Um, but I just don't know why. I think maybe just some grey rugs will sort of help a little bit. Get rid of that command block now. Um, we want carpet. I think a mix of the dark grey and the light grey. Um, maybe like a dark dark grey around the outside and then a light grey in the middle oh yeah because the staircase doesn't have I thought why is it off center it's because it doesn't have the grey blocks down the side on that staircase Whew. <laughs> it just this is just to tidy up this floor a little bit make it so it's not all the same block all the way throughout just putting some rugs down in here will really really help out so we'll have another one going sort of more lengthways this goes up to the second chair oops that one right there and down the middle here and then we'll have like a rug on that side and on the other side as well giant cave sound when you make something so big, it makes a sound when you go in it. Okay. And along here. Just nice, nice, simple carpets. Nothing too crazy. And then probably another one here. 5x5 five five one. 5x5 five five is nice and easy to remember for the other side. So trouble with doing things symmetrically. You need to remember exactly, like, everything about them. Uh, oh, nowhere near enough. I think it's right there. I'm pretty sure it's right there. 
One, two. One, two, three, four, five. Is it there? Ooh! No, 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 no. Oh, and if you don't know how to get command block, the command is there. Give your player command underscore block. If you put command block in all as one word, it doesn't work. You need an underscore in it. Just for those of you that are interested. Why is that not the same? Must be out here then. Okay, so now it's the fun part. Okay, there's some more stuff we need to do in here, lighting and stuff like that, but I can't hold it any longer. We're going to get the custom NPC wand, and where our commander's going to be, we're going to put our commander down, and we're going to call him, uh, or captain, isn't it, sorry? Captain, um, I don't know, what should his name be? Captain, Captain Foghorn. It's like something that you get on the boat, isn't it, you know, with the horn going on? So Captain Foghorn, we want him to be uh, size 5, which is normal player size. You can go anything from 1 to 30 if you want to make a giant or a baby. And then I've got the texture of the captain. I called him Boat Captain. Look at that. Okay. Um, we want him to be in advanced faction services he's a service guy like policeman fireman stuff like that this is just for like the world side of things uh for like the shooting and all that kind of stuff and then dialogue is it lines yeah lines interact lines we can make him say stuff all aboard oops all aboard that's better all aboard um you shouldn't really be in here because we're not really meant to be up here are we um uh, i don't know what is it like a uh, full speed ahead i'm sure you guys can cover with much better lines than what i'm going to basically that gives us some lines so if i now click on him he'll say different stuff from those lines that we gave him <laughs> Captain Foghorn, that's such a brilliant name. Uh, is there anything else? Um, I can set up what he drops if he dies, if he's killed. And what percentage chance of it dropping. So if you have 100%, every time you kill him, he's guaranteed to drop it. If it's 50%, it means half the times that you kill him, he'll drop that kind of thing. We can put things in his hand. We can put things on his back. Um... I need to set up the movement for the moment. I think he'll we'll keep him standing still. We don't really want him to wander off anywhere. Uh, but that's pretty good. And then what we can do is I've got... Um, we'll just call them officer. Um, yeah, I think they're called officers. Like second in command, third in command and stuff like that. We'll call them officer for the moment. We want them to be in the faction of services like the captain is. We want him to have the skin of a boat officer. That's so cool. And there'll be more. There'll be like multiple of these. Um, these can w uh, move around a little bit. So we want uh, movement. We want him wandering. We can give the range of blocks that he can wander in. So let's say uh, ten blocks, and then he's sort of got a decent amount to be able to wander around on. Ten blocks. We can change his animation to sneaking, aiming, dancing, whatever. We don't really want him to bother going around dancing everywhere. Uh, I think everything else should be fairly okay for the moment. Health and stuff like that. I can even hear him walking around. There we go. Okay. So what we want to do now is go to the custom NPCs. We want to select the mob cloner. And click on him so we don't need to do it over and over again. Ugh. Save as officer. Uh, save. And then we can place down more of them. Officer. Uh, officer. And they, when you save them, they keep their data that you put with them. So they'll, they'll keep with the, uh, walking within 10 blocks of wherever you place them. So he can only move 10 blocks around his area. They can only move 10 blocks around there. If you set it too big, they'll just end up walking around the boat and they'll never come back to where they're meant to be. Um, so be careful of how big range that you set on them, but this is pretty cool. Uh, officer, we want a bunch of these really. You want, you want enough to sort of make it look like they could control the ship with these. 
And we'll have one more over here. Okay, beautiful. Lighting. Let's hide some lighting underneath the uh, mats here. I think that would be a good idea. I'm going to do that and I shall return with also the barriers and stuff like that and any other bits uh, set up. So yeah, I should come back for the sort of final little bit, okay? <laughs> He's walking around in circles. <laughs> okay. Oh, did he fall? Oh no, he fell. We can get him back up. Uh, reset. There we go. It will all be safe for them eventually. They won't fall down holes. They're not as smart as like um, uh, as mobs, like like normal vanilla Minecraft mobs. Uh, they do just fall down holes sometimes. It's quite weird. But I have seen them even up here. They do wander up the stairs onto the top level. I decided to put a little desk up there. I thought it'd be um, a useful use of the space up there. But yeah, Captain Foghorn is there watching out for everybody. And then all the officers are, are wandering around, keeping everything, keeping the ship in tip-top condition. <laughs> it looks really cool. The uh, glowstone underneath the mats here has lit up this place plenty enough um, for, for my liking. It's a little bit dark over here, but there's always some plants and other smaller details that we can do later on at any point. I'm just really happy on how this looks. The, the characters really do bring an awful lot of life to it, doesn't it? It's better than just placing villagers down. If you guys enjoyed it, then hit that like button. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe. We shall see you in the next episode.